Hello guys, welcome back in Brothers in Dice channel. I'm Oliver and I'm going to paint brand new model for Adeptus Mechanicus Army by Games Workshop. It's a completely new vehicle. You can assemble two versions. One is Scorpius Dune Rider. That's the one I'm going to paint. The other one is Scorpius Disintegrator. It's a, more like a tank and the Dune Rider, it's a transport vehicle. I'm going to show you what's the best way to prepare the model for painting, in my opinion, of course. Okay, let's see what we've got for the transport version. Uh, you've got the crew, two gunners, one commander and one servitor like gunner and of course the vehicle i already primed it with black you see that the front door is opening so it's not glued all right the basic scheme i chose for the scorpius dune rider will be similar to the one that uh, games workshop is presenting but i'm going to switch the red and white so the base color will be kind of white but what i'm gonna use is a denim stone from citadel it's a foundation paint it's an old one and the red stripe will be painted with macrid red foundation paint as well all right i prepared a mixture for the priming denim stone Today it is uh, rock hard or ray card flesh. It's the alternative. And of course I had to add four or five drops of airbrush thinner. All right, here we are. The priming is finished. I'm gonna continue with the uh, interior. I'm gonna use Vallejo Model Air US Earth Yellow and I'm gonna dry brush all the interior with the bottom and also the hatch door. All right, with finished interior, let's move on to the red stripes. I was thinking I'm gonna place one right here and one in the middle on the door. Okay, let's mask the model. Okay, we should be fine with this. The alternative to the old Macrid Red is uh, Mephiston Red, but I think it's more like old Scab Red, which is Corn Red today. It's not that bright, but I like that color. that you have some mist areas or some excess color uh, we'll be adding some battle damage later on so we can use exactly these spots of imperfection let's do the same on the other side all right now with all three red stripes done I'm gonna continue with the chipped paint effect I will do that in two stages first I will simulate the red paint is chipped off and then i will continue with the rhinox hide and i will foam all the edges of the model where i would like to make it look like the paint is chipped off mainly i would say the front door because it's opening and actually hitting the ground and maybe outside ring of the hover okay 
and I will just slightly touch the edges of the red. And just like before, just slightly touch the edges. consider also the interior you can you can even make a double chipped off paint on the red stripes I finished the chipping but what I realized is that I forgot one thing I was too fast and I didn't apply the decals we can do it right now, not a big problem. I'm gonna use this one here, the main logo of the Mechanicum. I will do that on the sides and on the front door as well. On the back side, let's see, maybe some numbers or some danger signs, we'll see. First, I'm gonna apply thin layer of decal fix from Valeco in the area where I'm gonna put the transfer you don't need to even let it dry it's even better when you apply the decal just on the wet surface right on the decal another layer you can even adjust the deco with the brush if you think there are some bubbles beneath the deco just push it out from the center to the edge we're gonna let it dry and as soon as it is dried I will use uh, matte varnish from Vallejo and apply a thin coat right on the decal that it will be smooth all the decals i wanted to apply are applied here on a back tail i put the danger sign here i have put 52 and here three mechanicum side the next step will be parts which will be metallic but first i will paint them with rhinox hide and these parts are these protections here I already painted these holders of the back tails maybe the antennas the leather and the handles right after I will finish this I will dry brush all these parts with uh, lead belcher as you can see I dry brushed all the brown parts these side protectors this engine cover or what it is and uh, tail fins holder okay by the way i did the same for the gunner the heavy stubbers and also the crew members next step will be airbrushing the recessed areas with uh, light rust in some spots on the model I will do basically the same with a little brush and I will add some uh, rust streaks and certain areas I will highlight with even more bright orange. For this I will use orange rust. Okay, next step will be washing the interior floor. I will wash mainly these four parts where we have got the mesh. has dried it looks much better now I added 
some touches all around the model. I used also Agrax Earthshade, but mainly Seraphim Sepia. What I'm gonna do now is uh, painting of the gear signs of the Mechanicum with uh, bronze everywhere on the model, right here on the back of the gunner, as well as the chest of the crew. I'm still using the Dwarf Bronze, which is today uh, Hashed Copper. Okay, once I will finish painting these signs, I will wash them with Agrax Shade. Alright, I decided to paint these thin tubes with uh, bronze paint as well. I washed them with uh, Agrax Earthshade. The model is pretty much finished. Uh, last thing I would like to add on the model is uh, some depth and more contrast. That's why I'm going to airbrush certain most recessed areas, I would say, with uh, black. But it's gonna be really, really smooth and uh, easy touch. Okay, let's do this and then I will finalize the lights and lenses. You see how little is necessary to add the depth and the feel to the model. Okay, at this stage I think the model can be completed, but before I will attach the two gunners, I will paint the lights. We've got one here, two, three, four, right here in the interior, and of course there are quite a lot of lenses on the gunner and the crew. For that I'm using mainly Hawk Turkeys, which is today Ahriman Blue. And I will uh, mix it with uh, white. You can use either Citadel or Vallejo, doesn't matter. Just to make it lighter and uh, step by step simulate the light with the glow. All right, here we have the model finished. I attached all the crew. I didn't glue the gunner because the assembly guide says so. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy the video. In case of any questions, comments, criticism, just let me know. I will try to answer. And for more videos like that, visit our channel, we've got a lot of stuff, so thanks again!